In a previous video, I showed how I took apart an old telephone answering machine and scavenged the parts. Uh, in these sockets were some ICs that I thought I could use. So I, I took them out, found out what they were, and decided to make uh, logic circuits out of them for my modular. So um, I'm not going to make all of these. Just thinking about making the XOR, the NOR, the AND, and the, and the OR. Um, for those of you who don't know what a logic circuit is, uh, just briefly, it's uh, inside of this chip there are four little switches. And um, the circuit diagram for these switches looks something like that. So it just symbolizes how there's a there's two inputs for a, a signal and one output. So this little here is called the gate. So there's lots of different kinds of switches, uh, transistors. Uh, for a better description of what they are, uh, go to the link at the top of the page in the description. But basically, uh, a little transistor, all it does is uh, when there's a current or signal coming in through this input, uh, it's either designed to let the current through until another current comes and then stop it here at the gate, or um, it, when there's a signal coming through, it stops it until there's another signal coming through, and then it'll open the gate and let the current through. That's basically what's going on oops, inside this, but there's four of those little transistors. And you combine them in different ways to make different patterns. Uh, well, that's what I will do with this. Um, with sound or rhythm. So here is the official schematic diagram for the 4011 chip. And there's the chip that I'm going to be placing in the breadboard to test it. I just test them all to make sure they worked because I just ripped them out of this old PCB. So I'll be using the... LED to make sure first without audio signals and I'll be making the NOR circuit. Here it is functioning correctly. Uh, the green cables plugged into one side of maths sending out a rapid little signal. Dot, 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 dot. And the purple cables in the other side sending out a clock that's much slower. Boom, 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 boom. And down there uh, on the breadboard, you can see the LEDs reflecting it whenever it receives the five volts from the purple cable, it flashes on, on, on there. Now we'll be using the OR and the NOT which is basically a NOR. But uh, this is how I, I diagrammed it for myself. So this is the actual path of the wires I attached to the, the chip. And this time I'll be using um, two LEDs to show when I push one button there it goes to the, the bottom and the other button goes to the top. LED. And hopefully this will represent what happens on the audio side. When I plug in the power, press this one, it turns off the bottom button. Already you can see how complex. Just using uh, two of those little circuits in, in combination. And both of those little circuits are, com are contained within that single chip, just by some clever wiring from yours truly. Right, so after I've tested all of them with LEDs, I moved to the next stage of um, putting on audio cables and testing them out on the, the synthesizer itself. And when it works, I solder them all into a strip board, attach the chip, and um, plug it in and make some sound.
I've successfully rescued uh, all those little 4011 chips from that PCB. There were a couple other ones that weren't 4011. I'll save those for a future project. But um, created little logic circuits to process my audio signals. Um, I've attached jacks to them and um, drilled them into this panel. Um, I haven't labeled which ones they are or painted the panel or created a case for it yet, but I, I started needing to have something to hold on to because uh, when I was testing these little guys, it's hard to, it's hard to keep hold of them. Uh, you keep hold of the little jacks while all the, the cables run out of them. So eventually I'll, uh, I'll dress this up, um, at least label it, because I do like to label, and I do like to color too, and I do like to make wooden cases. So yeah, I do, uh, for the time being, I made myself a little diagram showing where all the, the inputs are and everything, so at least I know how to operate it. But I don't know, I kind of like the way this bare panel looks. It's austere, like logic itself. So I'm going to take it over here to the, uh, the CV inputs and uh, make some noise. And I'll I'll create a a more in-depth demo of it later after it's been encased. This is just to show that the circuits I made actually do work. Let me get this set up here better. Yeah, you can't set it down because all these dangly bits. I've got to hold it like this while I plug in all my cables. So what I'll be doing is taking the clock signals from maths and patching them into the inputs and then the output into my 8S sequencer and then see what kind of noise comes out. Because that's what it's for, right? So I'll turn this up here. That's the uh, 
unaffected sequence coming out of the transient modules sequencer. And I don't have my diagram here with me or else I'd know what I'm plugging into, but I think that this, I think this one's an XNOR and the one I just finished it's an or. Where's my cable here? Wait, no. In, I think I tried this one already and I like this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I like that. It sounds rubbery. Man. This little switch turns the uh, power on. Right now, it's the chips are not being powered. So I switch it this way. Power is going into that chip. Switch it in the middle. There's no power at all to either one. And that side goes to the other chip. I believe these are both um, the same. So there's two of the same. Wait, I gotta check. I like that. I like that lasery sound. Where the heck is my... Ah, there it is. Maybe I should label it. <laughs> yeah, so... This one is uh, an or, and that one's an or also. Let's just see what happens when I plug it into the XNOR. Oh, nothing. Just went flat. It's interesting. Power. Aha! There we go. That's a. That's so odd. Just when I thought I knew. Ooh. What? <laughs> it's just... It's... It reversed the sequence. <laughs> I just... I like that. Super cool. I like it. I'm just gonna switch this and uh, play you out. I'll create another video, a separate one, in which I uh, have it all, you know, dressed up, and uh, I'll, I'll investigate this in the meantime. Play you some pretty music. Just to add some uh, delay from my. Uh, from my mixer here. Spacey. Alright. Enough of that. <laughs> 